Hey guys, Gary Drano, and uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about live streaming and artist showcases. Uh, for at least three months, we tried to do uh, artist showcases, and let me first get to the distinction. Uh, artist showcase is what you'll do for free on, say, like every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, and uh, you'll go for an hour. And uh, if you're able to get audience to your showcase, you'll do Q&A during the performance and then the band uh, doing a Q&A after the performance for 10 or 15 minutes. Um, live streaming is typically when you charge uh, from your uh, uh, Facebook page or um, your your private community and you'd be charging a uh, dollar, two dollars, whatever to see the live stream. But the showcase is free um, and that's the distinction. Um, whether you're using a cell phone to record your band or like an Insta360 webcam or any other video capture device, interface uh, capture device, uh, it, it's important to find the right software that will give you good audio, good video. And uh, in our case, we tried for months to get Realstream IO, uh, which is a computer application, uh, cost $41 a month for the professional. And uh, we even using uh, closing everything out on our computer, uh, only one tab open and in incognito mode, we never got real stream to give us clear and and uh, accurate video. There was always uh, pixelations and, and hitches and jumps and bumps. Uh, so we tried for three months, so that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, showcases and in our case we're really fortunate we did not advertise these uh, to get an audience uh, because the product was really awful um, so that got me thinking about maybe using another software and uh, I joined uh, Sean Cannell's um, uh, class and he recommended something called StreamYard. Uh, Real Stream IO is a computer application, as I said. It, it resides on your computer. It does use quite a bit of your processing power. Uh, but StreamYard is a web app, and uh, StreamYard does a couple. And StreamYard is thirty nine dollars for their pro subscription versus forty one dollars for Real Stream. So basically, they're about the same. Uh, and uh, uh, let me first go through the many iterations of our setup uh, that we tried before we were finally able to get good quality audio, good quality video. Uh, the first thing we tried is had all our mics, which were eight mics, plug into our Focusrite 18i20 and uh, we had bad audio, no monitoring through headphones, through the focus right. Uh, and uh, we got smart and got focus right control. Actually, we called Sweetwater and talked to one of their tech people and had them walk us through how to get the focus right 18i20 set up properly. Uh, and they suggested us taking the microphones out of the uh, 18i20 and plugging it into our mixer and have a left-right channel come out of our mixer into the focus right. So we did this. Um, we also downloaded the current third generation driver, made a huge difference. Uh, then uh, we uh, used the focus right control to set up the left and right channels and moved all the mics to our Yamaha MX-16 uh, mixer and came with two with uh, left and right stereo out. And this eliminated the need for us to have the expense of 18i20. Uh, we were able to use a 2i2 just fine because we had just a left and right channel. Um, again, up driving the up 
updating your driver is a really smart idea because you could have a third generation device and if you're running second generation driver uh, you're just not going to get the effect you or the results you want uh, with control configured properly we're able to monitor with headphones through the scarlet uh, and our moderator and uh, let's talk about that for a second uh, whenever you do a live stream, the band members are busy playing. So you got to have somebody operating the computer and uh, there to chat when your audience does finally come in and also can hear your mix through the headphones through the uh, Scarlet control. Um, I had uh, a Seinhauser Silver uh, on the front of my amp and uh, we did get finally good video and audio on our last um, uh, artist showcase, but the guitar sound was not good. Uh, so this has me to the point where I'm going to try a DI box with amp emulation and have that go into the mixer uh, rather than using the Seinhauser Silver. Uh, because we just did not have a good room sound for the guitar. The drums and bass sounded great, uh, but the guitar, not so much. Uh, what I recommend is once you get all of your technology figured out, uh, and, and again, in my case, it was an Insta360 cam uh, webcam, uh, a uh, Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 uh, interface, uh, running a Ma uh, PC uh, laptop and uh, using StreamYard web app uh, to get our audio and video. Um, StreamYard has a real neat feature where you can record in advance and uh, then upload your performance at Let's say we do Tuesday, every other Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And let me talk for a minute why we do the Tuesday night 7 p.m. People are home. They're available to watch. If you do it on a Friday, Saturday, uh, even a Sunday night, uh, people have other things to do and they're not going to be around to watch your, audio, your uh, artist showcase uh, or especially your live stream if you're charging money. Uh, so once you get all your equipment sorted out, then what? So it's promoting your artist showcase, uh, getting a link out via email, announce your schedule on all your socials, announce a day ahead, the morning of, an hour before, and when we're live. Put the link in the chat and ask your audience to share the link. Talk to your audience uh and give them some background about you and the group. Uh, be your authentic self and, and talk to your audience. Uh, do a bit about each song. Uh, for instance, we play Born Under a Bad Sign, which was done by Albert King. Uh, most people think it was done by Cream, but it was originally done by Albert King, and that's the version we do. So we talk about it. Uh, then... Uh, your Q&A should be going on during your performance, so you have your uh, moderator uh, shouting out questions to you so you could answer them in between songs and always have the group participate in the Q&A, and uh, you'll get a much better response from your audience if you engage them or engage with them. Uh, and again, why Tuesdays at 7 p.m.? It's a night when everybody's home, and uh, we're 7 p.m. Mountain Time. It's important to make sure that people understand what your time zone is so they tune in at the right time. Uh, and you've got two choices. You could pre-record your performance and start uploading or upload it and start broadcasting at the given time, or you could just go live. Uh, for instance, Facebook Live and YouTube Live are the two big ones, and uh, we do both of those. Usually, the uh, broadcast uh, appears about a minute to two minutes after 
uh, your live performance. Uh, but people do get to see it live with that little bit of lag time. Uh, so that's really all there is to live streaming and artist showcase. Uh, once again, the distinction between an artist showcase and a live stream is an artist showcase you're going to do for free and you're doing it to build a following. Um, your live stream is once you have a following in a community like uh, Facebook uh, private community uh, and you're going to be asking them to donate or to pay $1.99, $2.99, whatever your price point is. And in that case, you're going to do what we call a live stream. Uh, but right now, my group, we're still doing Artist Showcase. And since last uh, week from this last Tuesday, we got our first usable um, uh, video audio capture. Uh, we are now ready to move into uh, promoting our event the day before the event, the morning of, usually three hours before, and an email should go out with the link that we are live. Uh, so if you do all that, uh, you'll have a good reception to your uh, showcase and uh, you should start growing an audience. Uh, if you do it at a regular time, uh, re regular day, uh, in our case, it's every other Tuesday of the month, uh, people get to know that, okay, uh, Gary Drano and the Manic Emotions are going live and I want to see it. So they tune into your YouTube channel or Facebook Live and they've got the performance. So that is the topic of the day. I wish you all uh, good luck. I hope none of you have the problems we had for three months struggling with uh, uh, software and, and uh uh, interface issues and uh, how we had things mic'd. Uh, it, it literally took us three months to get that all sorted out. So hopefully you won't have that problem. Uh, I hope for you guys that you plug in, turn it on, and everything works for you seamlessly from the beginning. But chances are that's not going to happen. So uh, practice makes perfect, and uh, you will get better at it as you go. You'll uh, get much better at talking to your audience. Uh, you will um, uh, get better at your performance because you'll be more confident in the product that you are uh, affording your audience. Uh, so with that, I'm going to sign off, say goodbye, good luck with your live streamings and artist showcase and uh, Send, go find me on Facebook and send me a link to your live stream so I can watch you too. All right, bye-bye.